What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. So, while you folks have been out there deciding if you have been hearing Yanny or Laurel, Ex Extreme Fully Fishing has been out here doing some fishing, all right? So, folks, the last five days, the fishing has been quite phenomenal. But the problem is, the problem was that it rained for so long around the Philadelphia and in New Jersey area every day, right? That I was just out there fishing, but I didn't do a lot of filming. So, I mean, those who follow me on Instagram and you go check my Instagram stories, you guys know what I am talking about. Just a brief summary before we get into today's video, okay? I did a little saltwater trip with my family to Atlantic City. I caught some striped bass, the Moroni Saxatilis, over there. Nighttime fishing was very, very good as well. I ended up losing an 18 to 20 inches wick fish, the Sinocion Hegalis, and I also caught a bunch of short summer flounder, the Paralictis Dentatus. Then just the previous days here, you know, I did a trip with my friend Simplex Fishing, right? AKA David Ho without the E, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I also did very well. I landed a 21 incher summer flounder that sadly I had to release because it is currently out of season in New Jersey, at least until, you know, the end of Memorial Day. And I also landed a bunch of bluefish, the Pomatomus saltatrix. So it saddens me to say this. It's not that EPF hasn't been doing any saltwater fishing. I just haven't had the opportunity to film for the YouTube channel, which is why, you know, you guys didn't get any of these videos, right? Or any videos at all in the past few days. The weather has just been really, really bad. Well, nevertheless, I do have a little bit of footage. That footage is going to be part of the Patreon perks. So fellow Patreonites, stay tuned, check your inbox. I am going to write a full saltwater report on the private fishing blog and send it to you guys via private message. I'm going to publish a short sketch that is part of the Patreon perks for Patreon folks only. And if you guys want to follow my photos that are out there for the public, make sure you access my Instagram everything is there right and i post instagram stories every day as for today's fishing session as you guys can see i got my waders up again it is going to be the same game as always the hunt for new species of fish this creek in particular where i am at right now i have fished it very very little very few times only two times in my life as a matter of fact and last time I was down here, I found two new species of fish in this creek. The first one, right, was the commonly shiner, the Notropis amoenus, and the second one was the cut lips minnow, the Exoglossum maxilingua. So I got my Calamus, Casking Calamus ultralight right over here. The size 10 hook is ready. I got some size 18 hooks and some Tanago hooks as well. If I find micro species, we're going to do micro fishing. If we, if we find game fish, we're going to do game fish fishing. We're going to fish for whatever bites. That's the game for today, right? So stay tuned. It is time to wade this creek down, up, everywhere. And hopefully we're going to catch some fish. Yanny, Yanny. I hate that stuff, man. Oh, dang! First cast! Holy moly! What is that? Is that a bass? Wait, what is this? Dude, that's a big fall fish, man! Look at this first cast of the day! That's a fall fish, son! Ah, look at that! Semotilus corporalis! I thought it was a bass at the beginning. Super, super aggressive. Just took our night crawler. There's no way to put this guy on the photo tank, so I'll just take a shot of this <laughs> of this dude and we just gotta we just gotta release it. <laughs> this is our first fish of the day. It is a beautiful fall fish sample. The Semotilus corporalis, which is the fall fish, not only is a very greedy species of fish, 
it is a very sensitive species of fish, all right, folks? So you gotta keep it in the water for a while, you know what I'm saying? This fish dies very, very easy if it gets outside of the water. Look, it's ready to go. It can go belly up really, really quick if you, think, if you don't take good care of it. So that's awesome, you know? Get started with a fall fish here, one species. Let's see how many species we can land for our video today. Oh, got something. What is that? I think that's a trout. Second species of the day is a trout. What is a trout doing here? Well, I mean, I know that this place is stocked with trout. I just didn't expect to see one this early. I was trying to see if there's long nose days over here, right guys? <laughs> so I was fishing the set, set of rapids with just a split shot. Oh, 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 easy. It's a brook trout. It's a brookie, little brookie. Oh, 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 he's pissed too. Man, hooked on the side of the mouth. All right, hooked on the side of the mouth. We got ourselves a little brook trout. It's bleeding a little bit from the side of the mouth too. Let me release this guy real fast after taking a shot, okay? And this little brook, this little brook trout doesn't know where to go. Look at, look at that. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Just go back, go back to your pool of water, okay? Beautiful little brookie, second species of the day. Not bad, not bad. All right, and we're just getting started. I've been fishing the set of current right over here, as you guys can see, for quite a little while, I would say about 10 minutes or so. And I'm just throwing a night crawler with a split shot, size 10 hook down there. Caught two fall fish, one brook trout, as you guys saw in this video. Oh, look at that. There's so, oh, there was something else coming up. What happens now is there are a bunch of smaller species of fish, micro species, shiners, right in this little current over here. So I'm going to switch hooks now from a size 10 to a size 18 because as a multi-species angler slash life lister, the micro fishes, you just never know what they are. You know, we gotta, we gotta find out to see if I have these species of fish already or or not, but there's a lot, a lot of them in there. So let's do it. Oh, they come on top to get it. That's right, get it, get it, son. I got one, I got one, I got one. It's right here, let's put in the photo tank. I got it, it's right here. Oh yeah, photo tank, you go. Hmm, I don't know, man. This is really odd, <laughs> this is really odd stuff, you know? Catching the fish is only one part of it, right? I mean, now is the troublesome part, identifying the fish. So I got a little shiner here from this little creek, okay? And I have absolutely no idea what it is. Here, I'll turn it for you so you guys can give it a, have it a shot of it underwater. The front of the mouth is a little bit black, okay? It's got a dot on its tail that is very, very faint. Let me turn again. I want, you, I want you guys to see the mouth of the shiner. It has a little black coloration here, right at the mouth. I don't know what this is. I am not sure if this is a spot tail shiner, the Notropis hudsonius, or maybe, no, this doesn't look like a commonly shiner, the Notropis amoenus, the one that I caught before. Maybe this is an Eastern silvery minnow i mean it doesn't look like it definitely looks like it is in the genus notropis right so i don't know this is one. <laughs> this is one of those mysteries right that every life lister is gonna go through i i took a bunch of photos i gotta i gotta go home later do some research if you want to voice your opinion hey feel free to voice your opinion what do you think this fish over here is okay because i have absolutely no clue. I'm gonna release it now and continue fishing. You know, you can't just spend all the time down here in the creek trying to find out what these fish are. But look at this. So shiny, man. The mouth is a little bit black too. I don't know, man. Emerald shiner. What, what, what is this thing here? I have no idea. Later, we gotta do some research on it. For now, just release it. Let it go.
No, this is a different one, right? This is a spot. Oh, yeah, this is a different one. This is a different one. This is a species number four of the day. Either a spot fin or a setting fin shiner. Yeah, this is definitely a Ciprinella, different than the other species of shiners that we have caught so far. Man, micro fishing is getting very productive today. Let's uh, unhook this guy, put it in the photo tank, and take a shot. Gotta do a little bit of research later to find out what exactly it is. The differences between a spot fin and a satin fin shiner is in the anal fin count. Oh no, this little guy took a little beating. I don't know if it is going to survive or not. Oh, 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 oh! Regain its ground. That's awesome. All right, yes, there you go. Very nice. That shiner did take a beating on the ground, not very high, you know, because when I put in the photo tank, it splashed out of it. Some of them are extremely sensitive. I hope it doesn't die, but I mean, sometimes this type of accidents do happen, you know? I think these are always Swallowtail Shiner. I am pretty positive. The Swallowtail Shiner, the Notropis Procne, are very, very similar to the Spot, spot Tail Shiner but they're just very, very small, much, much smaller, and they got some black stuff on their head. I've been catching a few of them over here, as you guys can see. You know, I haven't even started with the game fish fishing yet, but the micro fishing today is on fire. Yeah, check this out. I know that some of folks have been complaining here on the YouTube channel that the fish tank is a little bit blurry. You know, it's got a few scratches. Don't worry, I just ordered three more fish photo tanks. A lot of people usually ask me where I get these photo tanks from. I'm going to link the website in the description of the video. I get them from Tenkara Bum. It is a wonderful, wonderful tool for you to have so that you don't kill a lot of the smaller species that you catch. You can take your time, they can be inside the water, you can, you can take shots. And you know, as a scientist, as I always like to say, the more data you have, better are going to be the results right so right here i got five fish that i think all of them are the swallowtail shiner the notropis procne they are very very similar to the spot tail shiner the notropis hudsonius but they go they usually don't grow bigger than three inches not to mention that the spots in their body are very very strong the black on the lateral line all the way to the tail if you look very very close to the species you will see that in its lateral line, there are little black triangles, you know? It's very neat. But anyways, let me release this fish over here. And I'm going to show you guys as I release how this fish really look. Look, it is super, super beautiful. Black markings, right? Like I said, very apparent, apparent okay? I'm going to release all of these. All right, just put it back in the water. You can go. And then the final one, the smallest one also, I'm just going to give you guys a quick view, if possible, of this guy. So you guys have an idea how a swallowtail shiner is supposed to look. All right, it's got a tail that's dot, black on its lateral line. All right, you go ahead, little buddy. And when you have a fish tank, when you have a fish photo tank like this, the cool thing about it, like I mentioned, you can keep all these guys and you can release it. Nothing really has to die, so it is always a bonus. Time to switch back to the size 10 hook, walk down the creek, and see if there are some other game fish around. We are at five species of fish in this video. Man, and I just got started. Very nice. So as you guys saw, we were fishing right over here, which is kind of in the middle of this run. Right here, the run starts to lose its velocity, right? Because it's getting to the deeper portion over here. This is more towards the end. Now, you guys see all the way at the end there where there are a few, uh, two huge tree trunks. That is the spot that we eventually want to hit because if there are fish, they are going to be around those areas, you know, where the water gets a little bit slower and they're able to feed better. So we'll walk. We will start over here. And we will walk all the way over there. That's another species for today. Check it out. Huh? This is a species number six for today. The red breast 
some fish, right? Not too much of a surprise. They are in creeks all around the area. The Lepomis auritus. Just took a few shots of our little red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auritus. So he can go back, right? Where he belongs. So this is the place that I told you guys it would probably be good. As you guys can see, it is shaded, right? Away from the sun, under a tree. And there's a little current break on the other side. Really makes me wonder if we're gonna catch another species from here or not. There's only one way to find out. Fish on. Fish? There's fish here for sure, all right? Oh yeah, oh dude, that's a pretty nice, pretty nice red breast too. Holy moly. Oh yeah, look at the size of this red breast. Yeah, compared to the other ones that we caught in the creek today, this one here is no joke. Oh, son. This is jumbo, jumbo red breast sunfish right here. For my area, this is a really, really good sized red breast sunfish. Such is that I'm going to take a photo of this guy. A good six, seven inch red breast sunfish it's not something that you see in my area very often, you know. This is this is a very, very beautiful fish sample, right? Whoo! It was ready to go. Oh, fish on. What is it? Is it a new species? Is it one that we caught before? Dang, it's a big red breast, big red breast. So, I don't know about new species over here, but the big red breast sunfish, check that out, is all over here. This is crazy. It's got a beautiful collars too, all right? Beautiful, beautiful collars. You can beat it. You, you, I mean, you can beat this. Look at this. Look how gorgeous a red breast sunfish is. But I think we have gotten enough red breast sunfish today, so it is about time for us to, to move, yeah? Fish on, fish on, fish on. What we got here? Not a red breast? Oh, oh, another species for today. <laughs> it's a bluegill, the Lepomis macrocheros. Man, they are all around the area, even in the little creeks. Look at that, huh? The bluegill, man. Not bad, not bad. Six species so far. This bluegill makes it number six. Remember, right, when EPF fishes a creek like this, it's not so much about the sizes, more than it is about the variety. So six species from this one little creek ain't that bad. And I still, got a, I still have a lot of places to explore too, so just gonna keep casting my size 10 hook with my mangled night, <laughs> night crawler over here, and who knows what is going to happen. Hopefully we'll catch a new species today. Uh, I don't know. I've been going through, through some sinking mud here. This area looks like it's going to get deeper. Let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It definitely gets deeper over here. It's not looking good. So, for safety purposes, I'm using my waders right now. I'm not going to cross over here. It's deep on both sides, man. I can see from here. So, yeah, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's just start heading back. We're gonna head back to our initial position and start exploring upstream. Oh, feels like a good fish. Oh, it's another trout, it's another trout. Oh, this is a beautiful one, man. Beautiful one. Let me tell you, when you find a hole like this, you know, a hot hole like this, you just got to make sure you suck it dry. You know what I'm saying? Whole day fishing the creek, man. This is my six. This is my trout number six from this spot. Look how beautiful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how beautiful this trout is. Holy moly, guys. This is no joke. No joke. For a stocked brookie, 
This is this is the most beautiful one of the day.